Hi, my name is Paolo. I'm a PhD student at TUE, and I'll be presenting our paper, Learning to Help Local Search for the Traveling Salesman Problem. So just to uh, quickly introduce the problem, in the TSP, we are giving a set of uh, end locations, and we are interested in finding the best tour that visits all locations and returns to the origin. The TSP is a classical uh, combinatorial optimization problem and it's known to be an NP-hard problem and there are different solving approaches for it uh, those being uh, exact solvers, uh, approximation algorithms and heuristics. And what about machine learning? Machine learning has been uh, trying to catch up with these methods. Um, the focus of the previous works have been, has been mainly on constru constructive methods in which the idea is to construct a TSP solution uh, assembly node by node. There are two main streams, uh, one using supervised learning in which optimal tours are given as uh, supervision and <clears throat> also reinforcement learning in which for example you would, at you would attribute high rewards for uh, shorter tours. However, both of these uh, methods require sampling and local search procedure uh, to achieve uh, state-of-the-art performance. What is not so well uh, studied yet is uh, improvement methods. Uh, improvement methods being those that try to improve a TSP solution with one, for example, in its neighborhood, much like a, no a local search procedure. Now the interesting question here is how uh, we can automatically uh, learn better improvement strategies given a class of uh, local search operators, for example. And if we look back uh, to what is a very efficient uh, local search procedure uh, for the TSP, we arrive at the uh, link kernigan uh, halsgen heuristic. And there the idea is that to, you can select K edge, ed K edges to swap and be replaced by edges, which will lead to uh, shorter tours. And uh, you can also consider a simpler version of this procedure those called two and two and three opt um, and but however you still have to uh, have some sort of a way to to do this add selection and uh, for these cases uh, which is normally done in a greedy manner for example by selecting the first two edges that lead you to a better tour in the first improvement so our goal with this work is to to attempt to learn uh, better to up improvement strategies and we want to do so by in, uh, doing some interactions uh, with the TSP environment. And the idea is that uh, these methods would also be able to be trained in smaller instances and applied to larger instances, much like a heuristic is able to do. So in the proposed method, the first step was to define the problem as an MDP, a markup decision process. So in this case, we model the states as uh, the, current, uh, the current solution and the current uh, lowest cost solution seen during a search. The actions are tuples uh, uh, corresponding to two node indices and the transitions basically apply these actions and, this, uh, and perform it to up move uh, to a solution S. And then rewards are attributed to, um, to actions that can improve upon the best uh, found solution. So in terms of uh, neural architecture, uh, we propose a, an architecture that uses uh, encoding and decoding uh, units. In the encoding units, we encode graph topology with graph convolutions, and we also encode node ordering and symmetry uh, with a bidirection uh, RNN. And for decoding uh, the policy, uh, we use both graph and tour representation as inputs, and we learn the uh, in a stochastic policy uh, pi of theta. Uh, which uh, uses the chain rule to factorize the probability of selecting the node instance for the two opt move uh, using these uh, P of theta modules, uh, each of them being a softmax uh, over uh, pointing attention vectors and using the, uh, the embedded uh, node features. Whereas for the value approximation, we use the same encoding features, but here we learn these value function estimates uh, for, for a given state. Now this is how the neural architecture looks like. Here we have the encoding units with the uh, G, GCN and the RNN units. And here we have the policy decoder, for example, uh, that will uh, perform the attention uh, operation over the RNN features and the value decoder that will take both the graph and the, um, the two ordering features to output uh, value estimates. 
So how do we train um, this, uh, this model? We use the policy gradient uh, theorem to train it in which the policies move towards regions uh, where we expect uh, or we want a higher uh, an advantage estimation and the value network is trained to, uh, to fit the uh, Monte Carlo estimates of, of returns. In terms of results, uh, we train for TSP instances of three sizes, uh, 20, 50, and 100 nodes. Uh, these nodes are drawn uniformly from the unit square. We initially train for 200 steps, but when we validate, we validate the policy for uh, a longer period. And we measure performance by looking at the optimality gap, basically measuring how far we are from the optimal solution. In terms of performance on validation instances, we can see that for the three policies that we, we, we aim to learn, each of them being for uh, one TSP of a given size, 20, 50, and 100, we're able to improve over time. And uh, for the TSP with 20 nodes, we're able to find the optimal solution um, after assembling 1,000 steps or 1,000 solutions. When we compare our method to um, greedy to all policies, in this case, the best improvement and the first improvement, uh, we can see that we're able to find uh, tour costs which are lower than what these um, greedy methods can find. Uh, we've, even when we use restarts, uh, restarts being as soon as you find a local optimum, you restart the search at a different solution, at a random solution. We also compare our method to a heuristic solver, uh, being Google's OR tools and uh, two constructive methods and that also use sampling and two deep learning constructive, constructive methods uh, the supervised learning method from Joshi uh, et al and also from uh, the reinforcement learning method from Ko et al both methods use being being searched to to achieve uh, state of the art solution and also the improvement method, which is a reinforcement learning method from uh, Wu et al, uh, which is a concurrent method to ours, to ours uh, which also attempts to learn um, node swap and two op policies, and we report their two op results. Uh, when we look at the, the results, uh, ours being here at the bottom, we can see that our method uh, outperforms uh, previous methods um, for the TSP20 and the TSP100. And we're also able to see that uh, we are more simple efficient than the methods proposed by Wu et al. And for example, uh, for the TSP 100 case, uh, we can achieve better, um, better optimality gaps uh, in requiring um, fewer samples. We also do slightly better than the, the, the performance of Cole et al. So for example, we are able to uh, outperform their solution uh, simply only simply only 500 solutions versus 1,280 uh, that they use, and we only fall short of the method uh, just at all for the TSP50 case. Now, when we look at the generalization to large problem sizes, we uh, experimented with uh, learning on uh, TSP with 50 nodes and then applying this policy to TSP with 100 nodes. And the results are seen here on this col these two columns on the right hand side. And basically what we see is that we're still able to, uh, to improve upon the, um, the, the random initial solutions that we're giving as, uh, as initial solution for our search. And these uh, values are actually better than uh, the previous deep learning methods as well, even though we only train on 50 nodes. Now, what's interesting uh, as well is to understand how these uh, learned policies would behave when given uh, TSP uh, instances which do not come from the distributions that we were trained upon. So this is what we see here. We see uh, the results of our method when we compare them to uh, TSP lib instances and as we can see that we do a little bit worse than our tools but we are not too far off even though we never saw these uh, distributions before. Now in conclusions uh, our learning or our learn tool policies can yield uh, better uh, results than the greedy ones and adapting such policies may still be necessary if you want to use on different uh, distributions as we saw and these learning methods are actually slowly approaching the quality of these handcrafted heuristics, but still cannot compete in scalability and still depend on high training times. 
Uh, thank you very much for your attention. I'm happy to take any further questions.